Hello, today I want to show you guys how to make uh, the new Keyfury mod that uh, recently just got updated to its version 4. And so currently right now I'm using uh, version 4.3, which you might be using a more uh, newer version. So first off, you would have to first click on configure default profile. I already have a key viewer made here, so we will just use a new profile over here. So when we click configure, you will have to start uh, adding in all of your keys in over here. So we start over here, we press tab, Q, W, E, P, bum, bum, bum. So you want to have your uh, your eight playing keys at the top, and then we will start uh, adding in the keys at the bottom. And so I don't really use a uh, 16 key, but if you, but you would want to add in all of your keys. So the first palm keys and then the thumb keys and then the rest of the keys. And then when we stop, uh, we can see over here that over here we will have our first eight keys here. And then we have our eight keys over here as well. Oops. Yeah, we have our eight keys over here. So after you uh, have all of your keys registered, you want to start adjusting your key spacing. So let me just adjust uh, the file background over here to like a less one. So what we want to do is that we want to adjust the, the spacing of our keys over here. And so usually I think uh, my normal one I had 1.5, so we just do 1.5. And then we have like a slight gap between each one. This will just make um, the reigning keys a lot more nicer. And then uh one of the more one of the most powerful things about this new key viewer mod is that you can select multiple keys so what you want to do is that you want to press and hold shift and then start clicking on all of these keys here so i'm selecting all of the all of the keys that are supposed to go to the bottom row and then we'll click this make bar key and then when we click it all right i just wanted to give an extra note please uh adjust the key spacing before you make the bar keys because uh, if you make the bar keys first and you adjust the key spacing later, it'll only affect the, the top row keys and not the bottom keys. So always just remember that if you're going, if you want to adjust the keys, key spacing and such, always have it, always make it the first step. Uh, yeah, you will see that automatically all of the keys that are supposed to be at the bottom will be at the bottom, which is very very useful. And now with that. Uh, we want to move this in a relatively nice position. So one of the interesting things about this version of the key viewer is that there will always be two different states of keys, which is press and release. So we want to adjust the, the release here. So we move this. So since there's a, a release and press state, if you click any key, it will just move to the other state. So that's why there's a copy button here. So when we click this, it will just stay. And so now what we want to do is that we want to adjust this line, this, the middle of our key viewer to the middle of our line that we created. So this is important for the next step. So we just copy. Now we set our offset normally and now we set our, our scaling. So scaling, same thing. We want to adjust the scaling. Since the scaling is based on the middle key, we will just adjust it on the middle key. So we just, yeah, so that should be fine. And then after that, we just copy this value and copy it back here. And now it's relatively small. It should be lined up to our camera. We just copy it over here. And now our scaling of the keys should be at its proper place. Maybe it should go down a bit more. Yeah. Copy this. And now you have your key viewer already. So you can use this for whatever. You have your all of your top keys that you can play with. But if you want to adjust it a bit more, after you uh, moved your key viewer down to the camera, you want to start to select your top row keys to add in uh, your reigning keys. So you select tab, Q, W, E, P, left bracket, right bracket, F, 14, which is my uh, back backslash key. Click this and you can, uh, you, can use, you can just avoid all of this. You, if you want to adjust anything, you can like play around with it. Uh, it should be relatively easy to just adjust. But over here, you can adjust uh, your key font size, the uh, count text as well. And then if we go to scale, you can also adjust the actual size of the keys itself. So if you want to make it a bit more square, you can. And always remember to uh, copy the thing so the press state is also the same. And so now we want to 
enable the key viewer, the training keys, I mean. So if you click here, click enable keys, and then click edit over here. And now we have our key viewer. So right now, it should be active, as you can see. So there's a few changes that we need to do. For some reason, the key isn't lined up to the top. So we need to do that later. But over here, there's already a few things that we can do. We can enable the roundness of the keys, if that's like a thing that you want to do. But we want to adjust. For me, I will usually with uh, the way I use key reigning keys is that I always like to have the keys go all, to to all the way to the top. So we can go and re enable rain speed and then we can just increase this and then you can always adjust this from here. But actually the first thing you would actually want to do is to adjust the rain the length. The values for these will be a lot more different depending on the type of monitor you have. So I generally, I have a pretty large monitor, so the values might be a bit different. So now we have the length that I like. We'll also adjust this as well, the range speed. So now this is, I like this range speed already. And you can already just keep this, keep this already done. So we can just close this, close this, and then after we can just leave everything else alone. After you uh, adjusted everything, after you adjusted the rain speed and the rain length, the keys should already be good enough to play with. And so now, one thing that I do want to adjust is that I want to adjust when I want to adjust um, the actual offset of the of the key viewer because it's not I want it to go on the top of the key. So we adjust the key. We go here, click the edit rain object config. We just get the offset and then we just adjust. Okay, yeah, this is this is good enough. So now we also adjust the card release and then now the keys are now releasing at the top bar over here by changing the offset. So now we are done with this. We can just go back, go back, and then now <coughs> after you uh, have gotten the top row keys with uh, raining keys, you want to start selecting the keys at the bottom as well. So we click all of these, we click multiple keys, and then we go here and click enable rain and rain config. We'll have our our uh, bottom key rows. And when we go over here, we can start adjusting the colors, the colors itself. So <clears throat> over here, we want to have our bottom keys the, a different color than before. Then the top keys, so we're able to tell, like we are able to differentiate what is the bottom keys and what, what is the top key. And now we want to adjust the offset. So we adjust the offset from over here. We maybe like just like put like 30 or something. And then we copy from the bottom and then we can see a difference. And then maybe this is like a 28. Sorry, 28. And then we see the adjusted again. Let's try 29. Maybe 28 is the best. Sorry, 28, 20 point, 28 point. That seems like that seems pretty perfect already. <clears throat> so we adjust that and then now we go to scale and then over here we want to adjust how thin the walls are. So we can see over here this is how we can adjust the thinness. Maybe I usually do with 0 0.8 because 0 0.8 looks the best. So now we can see that we have the bottom row key and we have the top row key and now we can we're able to differentiate what is what. And so the only now the only thing that we need to adjust is the speed and such so it's the same speed same uh, speed as the top row so now we can go back here and we can start adjusting the range speed slightly faster that's basically perfect well not really perfect but then that's good enough so now with all of that you have your key viewer running with the bottom row keys and then we also have the top row keys as well so now with that done uh we can now uh, somewhat change uh the we can now you can basically the video is basically done you already have your key viewer and such but if you want to do a bit of more customization so i'm just going to do that so we want to just change the background color and then what i would like to do so we want to go here and then we want to select all of our keys. So after that, we multiple, we added multiple keys and now we have all the keys here. So now 
we want to try to edit the keys again. So we can do edit the background config, we go here, color, and then change this to call, change this. And now we have the background uh, fully opaque, but that does that makes it just, it just makes it more easier to see uh, the key viewer when there's like a lot of random like colors happening at the background. And then the next thing I would do is that maybe uh, there would be, that was a cool effect that I was able to do. So if we go here, edit the outline config, and then we change the scaling, and we change these two to zero. Of that, we change back the background to zero, 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 zero. And now we have this. What the here? Yeah, and now we have this like ra like really cool like clicking motion. That I think it's pretty neat. So now you have your key viewer done. Yep, that's all. 